Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes first impressions, tutorials, reviews of new makeup releases. And today I am really excited. We are going to do a tutorial, a first impression, and a review of the brand new, new mood palette from Beauty Bay. I will go ahead and insert some clips of the packaging, the actual palette itself. It does have a mirror, which I really, really appreciate it. Just makes getting ready on the go, travel, or if you don't get ready in a bathroom or where there's a mirror. I love that palettes include the mirror. The color story is really, really beautiful. There's a little bit of everything. There's some neutral tones. There's some bright neon shades. There's some more subdued, subdued shades, and there's some nice deep shades to really deepen up the look. There are six shimmers in the palette and 13 mattes. So a really good ratio of mattes to shimmers. I like to see more mattes than shimmers just because you end up using several mattes in an eye look and really only one to two, maybe three shimmers. And the shimmers in this palette are perfect because we have some neutrals, we have some brighter tones, and we have a little bit more grungy deep tones. This is a rainbow palette with a twist. There's definitely a neutral vibe to this palette. And I like, again, that there's some neon shades, but then there's just some regular mid-tone and deep toned color shades. It's an interesting palette. It's a little discombobulated. It's a little bit jumbled. It can be a little bit daunting to create a look, but once I actually swatched the palette out, I started getting some inspiration for today's look. So we are actually going to apply the palette to my eyes. I'm going to give you my first impression review of the palette. It is available right now on the Beauty Bay website. And what's great about this palette is it is only $18. That is an amazing, amazing deal for this large of a palette. And as long as the quality lives up to the normal Beauty Bay quality, we are in for a treat. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. I will link the new mood palette down in the description box, along with all of the other makeup that I'm wearing today, my favorite beauty subscriptions, and come on over, follow me on TikTok for more beauty on a budget. So uh, let me zoom you in. We'll prime my eyes and we'll play with the Beauty Bay new mood palette. So the first thing I'm going to do per the usual is prime my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I always prime my eyes because I find that my shadows do not crease throughout the day. They lay down easier and the pigmentation, to, in my opinion, is a little bit more true when there's an eyeshadow primer. I always just tap that in just to make sure that there's no creasing. I'm going to just use the mirror in the palette. Like I said, I always appreciate when there's mirrors in palettes. It just makes making eye looks on the go much easier. So the first shade I'm going to go into is this really pretty kind of lavender periwinkle shade called Focused. I'm going to pick that up on a fluffy brush and use that as my transition. So what I like to do is start that in my crease. And again, that's going to be my transition shade. Wow, the pigmentation is really nice. This is a lighter shade and we are getting a big dose of pigmentation and it's blending out really nicely. I generally really like the Beauty Bay formula. I have their Wilderness palette, I have their Age of Opulence palette, and all the mattes and shimmers in both of those palettes are really, really nice. And this one seems to be stacking up so far. I don't have any kick up in the pan with this shade and I do not have any fallout on my face. Let's see what happens when we reach into some of those deeper shades, but so far so good. With a little bit denser fluffy brush, I'm going into the shade Content, which is about two shades deeper than the shade Focus. Now immediately I do see a little bit of kick up with this shade, which isn't a bad thing. It generally just means that the shadow is very pigmented and I'm going to focus that just on my crease, not blending above my crease at all, but just deepening up the crease itself. I like to tap that in and then use a windshield wiper motion to blend it out. This is a really pretty shade. It is a 
True Periwinkle, which is all the rage. All the rage in makeup, all the rage in clothes. I actually think it's the color of the year. Let me know down in the comments if, that, if that's right, if it is the color of 2022. I'm not mad about it because it's a beautiful color and this shade also is applying really nice. I did, like I said, have a little kick up in the pan. I mean, a tiny bit, but I don't, but it's not producing any fallout, which is nice. I've already set my face, so it's easy to wipe away any fallout, but I do appreciate that we're not getting a lot of fallout. So it layered really nicely with that shade Focus. So back to the big fluffy brush with Focus, I'm just going to blend. I did not apply any more shadow to my brush. I'm just using it to blend the two shades together. I'm going to pick up a little more of Focus and use that to blend it out. I wanna have that definition between that deeper shade Content and Focus. Both of those shades layered and blended beautifully. So now I want to go into Confident, which is this midnight kind of a navy blue. And I'm going to use that to deepen up the outer corner and add the depth that I like in my eye looks. So I'm going to again, tap that on. Wow, she pigmented. That is one tap into the palette. Wow. That is really, really, really pretty. I don't even think I need to pick up any more shadow for the other eye. That is really, really beautiful. That shade, no kick up and no fallout. I like to take that just a little bit under my lower lash line. I really, really like this navy shade. It's a pretty unique shade, honestly. Back in with the fluffy brush that has that light shade on it. I, again, as always, am just going to blend that out. I want this look to be a little bit messy, a little bit blown out, but I still want it to be blended and I so far am loving it. I'm going to apply some of my NYX glitter primer to my lid. I like to do that whenever I use shimmer shades because kind of like my MAC Paint Pop primer, it keeps the shimmer in place all day without creasing. And again, you get the true pigmentation and opacity of the shimmer. Most of the time, I like to use my finger to go in with the main shimmer, the shimmer that I'm going to apply all over the lid. So I'm going to go into this stunning shade here called Inspired. Look at that. It is a shifty multi-chrome from blue to purple, and I'm going to apply that to my lid. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Literally takes my breath away. That is such a beautiful shimmer shade. Wow, 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 wow. Look at how beautiful that is. It is sh really pretty shifty from blue, periwinkle, purple. I love it. Now for the inner portion of my lid, I'm going to go in with this really pretty shade down here in the corner called Serene. This one I can see from the side also has a little bit of a shift from that white to a little bit of a green and a blue. I think it's going to pair really nicely with the shade, with the shimmer inspired. And I'm going to tap that on. Oh, that is really pretty too. Oh my goodness. That definitely is shifting. It's shifting from, like I said, a white with a, it has a little bit of an undertone of a green, but also of a blue. It pairs really nicely with this look. And I'm just focusing that on the inner portion of my lid. And then I do like to blend that over with the other shimmer. I like it to seamlessly blend together, not to have a harsh line between the two shimmers. That is so beautiful. For my inner corner highlight, I'm using the shade Free, which is one of the other lighter shades in the palette. This one has a little bit of a gold shift. I think it's going to be really pretty in the inner corner. That is beautiful too. These shimmers. They are really, really nice in this palette. That one even has a little bit of a pink shift to it. Can you see that little bit of a pink on the inner corner? I really like that. 
all these shifty multi-chrome duochrome shades in an $18 palette just blows my mind. So I don't know if you can see on that shade free. Can you see the dip in the pan? It's a very soft metallic. That is typical of multi-chromes and duochromes. I just wanted to point that out just so you're careful pressing your brush in or your finger. I have that a little bit down here in this serene shade as well. These are a little bit more tacky flaky shimmers, which I really like, but I just wanted you to be aware if when you're applying to be careful pressing into the pan. For a fun lower lash line, I'm going to use this bright pink shade called Passionate, and I'm going to buff that on my lower lash line. Ooh, she is pretty too, very pretty, very, very pigmented. I really like that pop of pink on the lower lash line and it pairs really nicely with that shade free that I put in my inner corner. Oh yeah, I really like that little pop of pink. So here is the eyeshadow look. I'm going to put on a liner, mascara, lashes, and I'll be back to show you the completed look. So here is the finished look for today. I went ahead and applied lashes, liner, mascara, lip cup, lip liner, liquid lipstick, and gloss. I'll link everything down below for you that I that is on my face. But let's talk about my first impressions and review of the Beauty Bay New Mood Palette. I absolutely love the color story. It was much easier to come up with a look than I thought that it was going to be. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I found that the palette was a little bit jumbled and disconjointed. But once I started really thinking about the look that I wanted to create, it was really easy to, pee, to put the color together. I was also thinking while I was finishing getting ready for the day that this whole little corner right here, these six neutral shades, would make an absolutely stunning neutral look. You could pop a fun color on your lower lash line if you wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit, but this palette, in my opinion, is 100% worth the money. The mattes blended beautifully. They layered. They were not patchy. We had a little bit of kick up in the pan, but I had zero fallout. I did not have to wipe away any fallout. And the star of the show is definitely the shimmers. I mean, these shimmers are beautiful. Beauty Bay shimmers are really flaky. And like I said, they're more of that kind of spongy type of shimmer. I will also say that sometimes on some people, the Beauty Bay shimmers crease. I find if I use an eye primer, I don't have any creasing. So I'm really happy I picked this up. I, as soon as it was released, I thought I have to have it. I mean, you can't beat it for $18. Well, well worth it. I like my look. I think my look turned out really pretty and I can't wait to play around next with some more of the neutral shades. So I will make sure that the Beauty Bay New Mood palette is linked down below for you. Let me know down in the comments, did you pick up the palette? Did this sway you to pick up the palette. What do you think of today's look? And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week, and I have an entire playlist of tutorials. So check that out if you're interested in seeing different palettes, different eye looks, and all of the makeup on my face will be down in the description box, along with my favorite beauty boxes. And last but not least, come on over, follow me on TikTok for more beauty on a budget. Thank you for watching, and I am in love with the Beauty Bay New Mood Palette.